And you can see uh, how well I've done as a writer, judging from the clothes I'm wearing. Actually, I'm painting my house today. But anyway, uh, what I want to talk about is uh, a book by John Barth and a book by Lou Shiner. Now, John Barth was here this fall. He gave a talk at um, Lynchburg College. And uh, he talked, one of the things he talked about was this notion that is due to a man called Joseph Campbell. This is uh, just sort of a, a classic reference book. It's called The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. It was written in the 40s or 50s, I believe. Now, this book has a very interesting theory or notion is that there's basically only one or two basic myth patterns in the stories that human beings tell. Efficacy to touch and inspire deep creative centers dwells in the smallest nursery fairy tale as the flavor of the ocean is contained in a droplet. And he goes on with this. And he has these, these stages of the typical myth, the call to adventure, the refusal of the call, supernatural aid, crossing of the first threshold, and so on. Very interesting, extremely fascinating notion, Joseph Campbell, the hero with a thousand faces. Now, John Barth is a novelist. He looks like this, if you want to pan in on that. And uh, this is the cover, the cover of the book. Uh, sabbatical. He's also an English professor, and he teaches writing at, uh, I guess it's John Hopkins up in Baltimore. And uh, he's published a lot of novels. And this book, he's trying to do like a, a Joseph Campbell number. He's trying to do a, a, a big myth, according to the myth cycle, a story that uh, has a lot of really heavy stuff to it. Actually, though, this is a really terrible book. It's just like the kind of book you would expect an English professor to write. It's all about some jerk who can't get it together to write his book, and he goes on a sail with this, this woman he's married, and uh, she's like the most selfish person you'd ever want to see. And all the people in this book are jerks, and it's a lousy book. <laughs> but uh, it's interesting, because John Barth is a good writer. Um, his idea of, of tailoring something to the macro myth is really interesting. And here's a book by a guy who's uh, certainly less impressive on paper, Lou Shiner, but this is actually a dynamite book. This is the best book I've read in two or three years. It's a science fiction book called Frontera, and it's about Mars. Uh, Lou Shiner is, uh, in a way, belongs to the school of science fiction writing that I helped start. That's a new school called cyberpunk writing. Cyber for computer and punk for, uh, like, being 80s, I suppose. So Lou Shiner's a hot new cyberpunk. Frontera, a dynamite book. Uh, it just gets going right at, th right at the beginning. They're falling into the uh, atmosphere of Mars. Uh, the air of Mars whimpered and then screamed as the aeroshell started to burn. Cain's Valium calm vaporized, and he was sure he was going to die. He'd looked at death before, sometimes gone out of his way to see it, but he'd never had so little control over the outcome. He felt as if he'd been thrown out of a helicopter with a mountain tied to his back. His vision narrowed to a gray, viscous tube, and he prayed he wouldn't have to take manual control of the ship because he couldn't lift his arms back up to the keyboard. So it goes on like this. There's this boat, uh, I mean, this ship going to Mars to try to rescue the colony, and uh, it makes Mars really seem like a place where people might really live someday. Basically, they live in a large tubular dome and uh, have greenhouses and so on, very cramped, and uh, it's just really a cool book. As I say, it's, it's the best book I've read in a year or two. So let me just end by recommending that again. Frontera by Lou Shiner, hot new cyberpunk writer who actually shaped this book according to the John Campbell, Joseph Campbell notion of the hero with a thousand faces. Okay, see you again next month. Thanks for tuning in to Brain Food. Bye-bye. I don't think I've ever heard the term cyberpunk before, but I'm sure Rudy is correct. Rudy is one person who never fails to give us his uh, true opinion of something, and uh, gives us a monthly feature, Brain Food, every month here in K.